attention. All rise. Superior Courts Number 11 of the State of New York, the Honorable Judge William Heath, presiding. People of New York versus Karen Andre. Ready, Your Honor. Ready, Your Honor. Attorney may now proceed. Magda Svensson.
who was with her. He was the man up on the rooftop garden. He held her in his arms and kissed her, the sinner. <laughs> and then? Then she step aside and say something. She speak very soft, so I not hear her. He not say words. He just take her hands and hold it, and hold it, and hold it so long, I get tired of waiting, and I go back to room. <laughs> <laughs> did you see the man leave? No, I did not. Did you ever see that man again? Yes, once. And when was that, Miss Spencer? Night of January 16th. Tell us about that. <laughs> then, she acts very strange that day. She called me and say I have rest of day off. And I've been suspicious. Why did that make you suspicious? It was Wednesday. My day off is Thursday, and I'll ask for an extra day off. I tell her I not need extra day, but she says she not need me. So I go. And what time did you go? About four o'clock. But I want no secret. I come back. What time did you go back? <laughs> <laughs> About ten at night. House was dark. She not at home. So I dance. Half hour later, I hear them call. Herd Faulkner was with them, so I afraid to stay but Before I go, I see two gentlemen with them. One, oh, he was a drunk. And who was that? I not know the man. Did you know the other one? <laughs> He's the same man I see kissing Sandra and I to bed him. That's all. Miss Spencer. Oh, just, just a moment, Mrs. Spencer. You still have to have a little talk with me. Ah, oh, for that. I say all I know. <laughs> Yet you may know the answers to a few more questions. For instance, you said that you had seen that stranger making love to Miss Hong. I did so. And yet you also stated that you could not hear what was being said. Now remember, you were under oath. If you could not hear them, you can't honestly swear that you saw him make love to her not you? No, but I can't swear he didn't either. Can you honestly swear that you saw him kiss her? With my own two eyes, I saw the sinner do it. And what, after all, is so wrong about a boy kissing a girl? Listen, mister, maybe you not know. Maybe you're too young to be experienced, but I know that kisses last door in heaven before a girl falls into hell. <laughs> <laughs> Let's confine ourselves to this case. Now, you had stated that it was dark when you had first seen the stranger with his aunt. Yeah, it was dark. And on the night of January the 16th, when you were so ingenuously spying on your mistress, you stated that you had seen Miss Andre and Mr. Faulkner coming, and that you had hurried to depart so as in order not to be caught. Am you, I correct? You have to remember it. Now, you only had a swift glance at the two gentlemen with them. Yeah. Can you tell us what the drunken gentleman how can I? No time to notice face and too dark at door. So, it was too dark to identify the drunken gentleman, and yet she claims that she could identify the other man whom she had only seen once before. Now, you listen to me, mister. I under oath, as you say, and I'm a religious woman. I respect faults. I say it for the same man, and I say it again. Ha! Huh, what you think? I know nothing about men. That is all, <laughs> 